Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're talking about two brand new concealers on the market. We're talking about the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer and the Dior Forever Skin Corrector Concealer. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. So for both concealers, I was able to get some samples and test them out. So what I'm gonna do is run through both of the concealers and give you some of the facts. So the first one is the Dior Concealer. This is the Dior Forever Skin Corrector, and I have the shade 1N, and this one retails at 48 Canadian plus tax. This is a liquid concealer that is full coverage, and according to the website, it offers a 24-hour wear, multi-purpose, full coverage, creamy concealer that corrects and hides under eye circles, redness, blemishes, and imperfections. So I think the biggest difference between the Hourglass and Dior Concealer is that the Dior one is marketed as a corrector. So not only a concealer, but you're supposed to be able to do a full face if you want it with this item here. So you could cover all of the imperfections. You could do your contour if you got a darker color. This is supposed to be like a full face item, but you can also use it just as a concealer after your foundation, which is what I did in today's video. I'm gonna go ahead and add some little clips of me applying the product. So as you can see, it is a liquid product. I applied it first with my finger and then I went in with a sponge. I tried several different days, sometimes just blending with a finger and then only with a sponge. I find that both of these kind of give the same result. I usually go with a sponge when I apply my concealer, but because I'm trying a new product, I wanted just to see how it would work with different techniques. I found that using your finger or a sponge really was interchangeable. There's not really much of a difference in the application. And one thing to note about the Dior concealer is the size. So this is the Dior Forever Skin Glow Foundation. This is 30 milliliters. Now, if you buy the Dior Forever concealer, it is 11 milliliters. So about a third of the size of this. And just to compare, an average concealer is about six milliliters, so it's almost twice the size of an average concealer tube. It's quite hefty. I don't have um, the actual product here because I just have the testers, but it looks basically like half of the bottle. It's really quite hefty. It's not a very small concealer, but you do get a lot more product. And at first, this product is almost $50, but you do get about twice the amount of product in your average concealer tube, so that's something to consider. And also another thing to consider is, since it is twice the amount of product, the tube itself is really big. It's literally like half the size of a foundation bottle. Just like pick up your foundation bottle closest to you and just picture half of that. That's what it's like. So if you do your makeup on the go or on the run, maybe just factor that into your purchase consideration. Okay, let's talk about the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer. This one retails at 45 Canadian plus tax, and this one is six milliliters. So just as a point of reference, this NARS concealer is six milliliters. So it's about the same size as this tube here. And again, the Dior one would be half the size of this bottle here. Something to note is that when I saw the Hourglass display at Sephora, they also had a new concealer brush. It looks quite similar to the Sephora concealer brush that I have here. I did not pick up the new concealer brush from Hourglass because I have a plethora of makeup brushes, but they do have one out for $50 Canadian plus tax if you're interested. So the Hourglass concealer is a liquid full coverage concealer. It's described as a full coverage weightless and waterproof concealer with micro spherical powders that blur and brighten up for up to 16 hours. Just as a side mention, the Dior concealer is supposed to last for up to 24 hours. Full disclosure, I did not wear my makeup for 24 hours for a wear test. The Hourglass one is supposed to be free of SLS, SLES, parabens, phthalates, and it's also vegan and cruelty free. I did not see any information for Dior on those matters. And in the Hourglass concealer, I have the shades Apricot and Fawn. I do have to say that I prefer Fawn. It's a little bit lighter, and these two colors are a bit more peachy. I kind of like when it has a bit more rosy undertone, that way it kind of cuts more of the dark circles. This is a liquid full coverage concealer. You can see in the application that I applied it with a finger and then blended it out also with a sponge. I find that this texture is more creamy. It's not, it is a liquid, but it's not as runny as the Dior concealer. I find that 
with the hourglass more like less product went further i found that i didn't have to apply as much as i did with the Gior. i found that the hourglass concealer definitely helped hide circles and tiredness better than the dior concealer that being said the dior concealer has more colors to choose from i think it has more undertones it also has more colors if you're darker skin type the hourglass concealer does have darker colors but they kind of jump like they kind of have like medium dark and then just jump to very dark they don't have like as much of a gradient in undertones so i think if you have darker skin you might be like you might be better off finding your actual color with a dior concealer so the hourglass concealer is described as crease resistant now here's the thing most concealers are going to crease on you somewhat. I think it's quite impossible for a concealer to be 100% crease free unless you have completely Botoxed your face and don't move or show expressions because if you move, if you talk, if you smile, your face is going to move. So it's quite difficult for a concealer to just never crease at all. However, there are some that crease much worse than others. I have to say that Overall, I do prefer the Hourglass Concealer a little bit more. I find that I like the coverage more. I like that it's a little bit thicker and less product covers more. I find that I look better with the Hourglass Concealer. I find that the Dior one tends to fade a little bit more during the day. I think my biggest gripe with the Dior Concealer is that I found that it faded faster throughout the day i found that the, like this side always looked a little bit more like it needed a touch-up however i feel like i've seen a lot of reviews online at the moment with the hourglass versus dior concealer because as i mentioned they both came out like the same week and i think it's good that there's a lot of reviews because we all have different skin types different experiences i'm 32 i have dehydrated skin and i live in montreal so my review of a product is going to be different from someone who lives halfway across the world because it, it like it's impossible for it to be the same like my life and the environment around me is going to be different and it's going to affect the way that i review a product and that's a good thing because it's better for you the viewer to see a plethora of different reviews and that way you can make a better informed decision overall I really think that I am leaning more towards the Hourglass Concealer because I do prefer the texture more. It's creamier. I find that a little bit goes a long way with this concealer. I find that it kind of holds the color and brightness longer throughout the day. However, if you're looking for quantity, the Dior Concealer is like twice the size of an average concealer and it's around the same price. It's only $3 more. And the Dior Concealer is not bad. It's not a terrible concealer. It's just not as great as the Hourglass Concealer. I think it's okay. It's not terrible. It's not a horrible mess. I did find some creasing, honestly, with a little, both a little bit at the end of the day. It's not going to be perfect and just like stay in place all day like glued because i talk i smile etc i think if you're someone who does a lot of spot correcting and things like that with your concealer i think you're better off getting the dior one because it is twice the size whereas a small tube like this if you do your concealer and also correct all over your face every single day you're going to go through it very quickly so if you do that then get the dior one but if you're looking for just a concealer i would say go with the hourglass Okay guys, I think this about does it for today's video. Please let me know down in the comments which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the Dior Concealer or the Hourglass? Do you dislike both? Let us know down in the comments. And before I go any further, reviews on the Chanel Chance Perfume Pencils, the Rosy Drops here from the Le Blanc Collection, as well as the Mirage Nail Polish here will be out very shortly. So if you guys happen to enjoy today's video, please make sure to like, leave a comment and subscribe i post a lot of luxury beauty reviews and tutorials so if you like those types of videos please subscribe okay i think this about does it for today's video thank you guys so much for stopping by i hope you guys have a beautiful day and i'll see you guys next time bye